Okay, so we are on 12.5 here, and 12.5 is uh, the probability of independent and dependent events. So let's take a look here. A drawer contains two red socks, four white socks, and ten blue socks. Without looking, you draw out a sock, return it, and draw out a second sock. What's the probability that the first sock is white? So we have a total of we have a total of 2 plus 4 plus 10, which is 16. So there are 4 out of 16 that are white, and there are 10 out of 16 that are blue. So when we multiply them together, we end up getting 40 over getting 40 over 256 and 40 divided by 256 is the same as saying 5 over 32. So let's take a look at the next one. Uh, we have a total of 4 plus 10 plus 2, so that's 16 socks. What's the probability that the first sock is white? Uh, you take a sock, return it, and draw a second one. Yep, so that means we have, when you return it, that means we are replacing it. So this is with replacement. Um, what's the problem that you pick a white sock? So a white sock, and then a red sock. And why am I saying add? The word and, and means multiply. So we're going to multiply and we actually get the same answer as the last time um, 40 over 256 which is 5 over 32 so if you tossed uh, a nickel and a dime what's the probability of uh, returning a nickel tail which means when you flip it you get tails well one is tail out of two sides right and what's the probability of the other dime is um, tails well it's one out of two so when you multiply them you get uh, one out of four as your answer. Um, let's see here, skipping around to figure out what's real important here. Of A and B, A means, uh, that means multiplication, so basically it's 0. 0.6 times 0. 0.8, which is 0. 0.48 is basically what the answer is for that one, because you just multiply them. Um, that's 0. 0.7 times 0. 0.32, so it's 0.224 is the answer to that one because you just multiply them together. All right, a jar contains 21 green marbles, uh, 30 yellow marbles. Okay, so that's a total of 51 marbles. One marble is withdrawn and the color noted. It is then returned to the jar, mixed in, and another marble is drawn. So all that means that we are replacing it. That's what that means. So this is being replaced find the probability that both marbles are green. So basically it's 21 out of 51 times 21 out of 51 is basically what we're saying. So 21 times 21 is 441 and 51 times 51 is uh, 2601. So 441 divided by 2601 and we end up getting uh, 49 over 289 as the answer. Um, still 51 on the bottom, one marble is chosen, and the color noted is then returned to the jar, mixed in, find the probability that they're both yellow now. There's 30 yellow, so, and because the marble is mixed back in, that means it's done with replacement. Um, so it's 900 over um, 2601. And when we do this, we end up getting now 100 out of 289 as your final answer. You and five friends go to a convenience store to get some drinks. They have 12 different sodas. What's the probability that each of you chooses a different soda? The first person walks in. Well, how many choices do they have? That first person can choose 12 sodas. Okay, well, that didn't work. The first person can choose 12 sodas out of 12, right? 
The second person has 11 sodas to choose out of 12 because they can't choose the first person chose. Let's just say the first person chose Coke. The second person can't choose Coke. So they choose Sprite, we'll just say. Okay. Then the third guy walks in. He only has 10 choices because he can't choose Coke and he can't choose Sprite. So what that means is he only has 10 choices. So we'll just say he chooses some kind of orange soda. The next person walks in and they have nine choices out of twelve now because they can't choose coke, they can't choose sprite, they can't choose orange, so this person chooses grape, we'll just say. Then the last person walks in and they can choose um, eight sodas out of twelve because they can't choose the four prior, so when we multiply the tops so you get twelve times eleven times ten times nine times eight which is 95,040 over 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 times 12, which is 248,832. So when you divide those two, we end up getting 55 out of 144. And we take a look at this next one. You and three friends go to the grocery store. And let me just double check something here quick. You and five friends. So actually this number is wrong. Um, you and five friends. That means there's a total of six of you. So this should go the whole way down to seven. Sorry about that. Um, which then means that this answer on the top needs to be multiplied by 7 and that needs to be multiplied by 12. So it's actually a different answer here to this. Um, we actually end up getting um, on top here, we actually end up getting um, 665280 uh, over um, 12 to the 6th power, which is 2985984. Um, so 665280 divided by 2985984 um, reduces down to um, 385 out of 172. Eight. And the reason why is because there's six. The first person has 12, then 11, then 10, then 9, then 8, then 7. And they're all over 12 because there's 12 total choices in each one of these. So that's where that answer is coming from. So in the next one, you and three friends is basically saying you have 1, 2, 3, 4. And if they have 10 different brands of chips, the first person has 10 to choose from, then the next one has 9, then the next one has 8, then the next one has 7. And it's all over 10. So on the bottom, that one's easy. We end up with 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bottom. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is um, 5,040. So when you divide, we end up getting... Um, 63 out of 125 as your final answer. Okay, so I hope I didn't confuse you too much. Um, we will talk later, and if you have any other further questions, please let me know.